Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Matt, Deluxe, DeluxeFab.com. Today, we're talking about drive shafts. Specifically, specifically cut the length drive shafts. Now, I've already put some of the parts on the truck here to expedite the video. Go with your slip yoke, female end. Your five millimeter universal goes on your transmission. And then your shaft itself, cut the length shaft. Now, every now and then, bear in mind, you slide these together, you might have a little burr from manufacturing down in one of these splines. You may need to kind of work it, but once it's freed up, and it should be pretty free. Nice. So now, reminder, this will also only go in one way. You turn it 90 degrees, won't go in, turn it 90 degrees, won't go in, turn it. Boom. That It's that way on purpose. That keeps the universals here and here. They'll keep these universals in phase. So then that's not herking and jerking and jumping. Now here, here's how I install these, you guys. I'll put in both ends. I usually run the female part at the bottom. I don't know, it's just a, a way I like it. <clears throat> I'll slide in my shaft. Only one way. I'll lay it up where I can see it's about where it needs to be. I'll pull it out of the uh, slip about a third of the way. And I'll hold it with mother finger. Now I'll reach in here and I, I, my Sharpie's a wall. I'll reach in here and I put a mark on it, a little longer than I think I need it to be. So, there we go. Got a mark on it. Now I'm going to go cut that and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I got that cut. Of course I cut it too long, I had to cut it again. But it's better to cut it twice and still be long enough than cut it twice and still be too short. So, now you drop that home like that. Slide it in, check your, check your depth. You want a little bit, you want some slide showing here. And when you look in there, hope you all can see that. You want to, you want that poking out just a smidge. Not a lot, just a little. Show you all another trick. She's on there pretty good. Boom, there she goes. Now, thing to note, these center shafts here, they're like a double D shape. If I can show that or not, if it'll focus on it. Now, if you look in your shaft on your on your yoke here, set screws on both sides. You slide that in like so. And tighten down the set screws on both sides. Try to do them evenly. Obviously, this is the, the other end of the drive shaft we're not using, but that's about all the stick out inside the joint you can have. Come on, why can't I get more light? I thought I had all the light. If you look here, Man, you really still can't see it. But all the stick out you want. In there to focus. Another thing you can do, go to the, the uh, if you need a really short fixed drive, fixed length drive shaft for let's say your forward motor mount or whatever it is you run on your truck, you can buy two of these ends and just use the middle part here and make a drive shaft that's more or less two of these and a little bit in the middle. You can even grind these down here to get some more distance if you need it shorter even. Now, when you you buy these cut the link drive shafts, most of the parts are pretty long. All the specs are on the website, all the links and stuff you can get, how long you need it. But when you cut this piece off, don't throw it away. Keep it. You might need to make a, a fixed length drive shaft out of some men's later for another project. Always good to have that. So now we're gonna assemble this for real. Flat spot towards the set screw. So you can have her poke through a smidge, but not much. That's too much. Boom 
something like that because you want your yolk to clear it. See? Snug that up. Snug that up. I would put I would put some blue Loctite on these. Now we'll slide this on home in here. On this Nessie, I got all this stuff out of the way just to make this easier for y'all to see. See, there it is. There it is. Drop in our set screw pin. Snug that up. Now cycle your suspension to make sure it's not a full bump. You're not bottoming out right here. If you can see that or not. You want to make sure make sure that a full bump. You're not bottoming out right here. See, we got about an eighth inch clearance in there, so we're good to go.